G'day you sussy blokes. Today I've got something pretty cool to share with you. So the old AI zombies game mode that everyone loves. Uh, the biggest feature they all want is pathfinding, believe it or not. So I've been looking at this, or well, working on this for the past couple of days. Taking a break from one of the other projects. And here it is. It is working pretty damn well. And of course there's a lot of waypoint and other junk on the screen that's just for debugging because this was one of the first test runs I was doing or was actually working so I hadn't taken that off quite yet. But as you can see there is a lot going on and under the hood there is even more going on. It's crazy. We definitely were not supposed to do this with the damaging but here it is, and it's working. And from the previous attempt at implementing this into the Megalo engine, we are using the A star pathfinding algorithm, which essentially is an efficient, like, it's probably the most efficient pathfinding algorithm. It's and it's super good. As you can tell with all the waypoints, that's where the zombies are looking to see how to get to your players. So, uh, it, it's pretty clever. It just draw, it just picks the nodes that are closest or the straightest line to their destination, and those are the nodes that we take. And I got a bit lazy with this, and they just recalculate path every time they reach a new node. So these guys over here got a little confused because they hadn't made it to their next node yet, so they weren't able to walk back. <laughs> which is a bit of a drawback, but that will probably be accounted for sometime. And here we have the off-road mechanic. So if these guys get a little stuck, and our players get a little stuck by going off the track, which you should probably account for when making a map, like why are you going to have an area that doesn't have pathfinding? That's silly, right? Anyway, so these guys are going off-road, which you can tell with the Slayer icon, is that they're engaging the player. And so that means that passing doesn't have to be absolutely brilliant for it to work, but... You know, you should make brilliant passing. But... Anyway, so... The nodes themselves are pretty easy, pretty easy to understand. We've got objective plates, which you may or may not have noticed, and they've got waypoints above them from our calculations we're doing. And essentially, we just figure out, we, we make our nav mesh by just conjoining or overlapping all of these shapes. And that's it. They just look through, see which shapes overlap, and they're like, alright, we're going this way. We're I mean, that's not the entire process, that's a very, very dumb down way of saying it, but it's pretty much how it works. They just essentially draw, or like, they kind of look at which node they're currently at, and then they just flood all the nearby nodes and ask if those ones are close to the destination, and if they're not, they'll pick the one that is the closest, and then they'll go and do the same process until they find the node that is their destination. And it works pretty well. For this test, the zombies are just chasing one player, which here is good mate Cruz, I think, who is just seeing this for the first time, just like our other good mate, yeah. Sofa Sleeper. Five, who believe it or not, made the prop hunt, as he would like you to know. Anyway, so we've got some zombies here with the X icon, which means they are fully stuck. And that's because... That's not set up correctly, I don't think. And then he's just taking off the road. I think I covered everything. Maybe, maybe not. But anyway, this isn't entirely finished. It's got a long way to go. And I probably won't be making a game mode with this. I'll just be releasing this as a script. And hopefully, we'll see some game modes that do remaining. use the script in the future. That'd be pretty sweet. 
And of course, uh, the guy, the zombie is walking funny, is just because they're walking really slow, and so the animation is trying to play, but it is not working very well. <laughs> so I think that is most of it. I'm going to end the video here. Find the mutton.